My name is Heather Slusser. I'm the Agriculture Educator in the Marathon County Extension Office. Today, I am joined by Dr. Jennifer Van Oss, the Animal Welfare Specialist with the Department of Animal and Dairy Science. I am also joined by Ted Halbach, is a faculty associate in the Department of Animal and Dairy Sciences. Today, they are going to speak with us about the fact sheet they authored entitled Heat Stress Abatement in Dairy Facilities. Dr. Van Oss, what are some signs of natural coping mechanisms cows use to try and dissipate heat and maintain a normal core body temperature? A very conspicuous sign of more severe heat stress that people can use is panting. So when cows are panting, you may see things such as breathing with their mouths open or with their tongues hanging out or with drool or a combination of these signs. But an earlier indicator of heat stress is elevated respiration rates. So a rule of thumb is that if a cow is breathing at 60 breaths per minute, which is one breath per second or faster, that's an indicator that she could use some assistance. And each breath is a full breath in and out. In addition, cows show some behavioral signs when they're experiencing heat stress, including drinking more water or bunching around the water trough or seeking shade, even if they're inside a barn, they may bunch away from the side or end walls of the barn. They also will eat less and spend more time standing up instead of lying down. Could you both tell us what the function of the barn ventilation system is and how it can help dissipate heat from the cows? The barn ventilation system has two main functions. So the first is air exchange, meaning we want to remove the stale, warm, humid air from inside the barn and bring in fresh air. So in the summer, your target should be 40 to 60 total air exchanges per hour. So that's the amount of air that turns over. And then within the lying stalls to help promote sufficient resting times, we want to see fast air movement of at least approximately two and a half miles per hour, but ideally approximately four and a half miles per hour. What I'd add into that is the holding pen area in a dairy facility is really a bottleneck point on a lot of farms. And you think about it and you're bringing cattle in two or three times a day into this very confined space. They're typically quite bunched and the air in a lot of holding pens is often recirculated air because oftentimes with where the parlors are located, there may be wind shadows surrounding those buildings. That's often a lower sided sidewall on holding pens. And so a little more challenge in bringing fresh air, but it's every bit as critical there as anywhere else in the barn. And that would be that just as Jennifer talked about those air changes per hour, critically important to have an engineering plan that brings that fresh air in and then actually in that space to combine it with soaking. Could you both tell me about the effect of water soakers and how they help with heat stress in cattle? I would start in the holding pen area and in the parlor in general. You've got this concentration of animals. It's how do you want to look at it? Is this a place where you're going to go and heat up your cows? Or do you use this as this tour three times a day, a place where I can provide effective cooling so the cows can go back out and follow their normal kind of behaviors that they'd want to go eat as soon as coming out of the parlor. So water is a critical element of that. Uh, it's proven to reduce respiration rate uh, when you soak cows in that area. What is soaking? There's a difference between misting the air and actually soaking these cows. And so you'd want to get a good flush of water to completely soak through the hair on the hide and provide a really wet surface for fast moving air to help cool that cow. And there's different places you can soak cows in the holding pen. Dr. Van Oss did some research on an area farm where she actually soaked cattle that were being milked in the parlor by a soaking system that went from the hips forward. There are some systems that soak cattle as well in their exit lanes. All of these systems are really critical uh, when you get summers like what we've just had with plus 85. We talk about thermal neutral zone and that 68 THI. I'll add on that soaking can also be done within the barn. So commonly over the feed line, people will mount 
intermittent soakers that turn the spray on and off so that cows can experience cooling while they feed. And as Ted said, this can quickly alleviate discomfort. So we see rapid reductions in both respiration rate and core body temperature, and these effects are enhanced with either fans or with wind, so that promotes faster and more effective cooling. In addition, when soakers are used, research has shown across numerous studies that this restores feed intakes as well as milk yields. But soakers alone do not restore lying time. And this is why providing fast moving air over the lying stalls is especially key to make sure cows are resting enough to prevent lameness. Dr. Van Oss, can you tell us, is it helpful to provide cooling to all age categories of cattle? I'm an animal welfare specialist. And if we think about promoting good welfare in all of our animals, heat abatement is important regardless of the age of the animal. So for all ages, shade is a basic expectation. And this is something that animal welfare auditing programs are looking for to prevent additional heat gain from solar radiation. So some kind of shelter or shade is something that all ages of cattle find extremely important. In addition, there is a lot of evidence now that there can be multi-generational effects. So cooling dry cows is not only good for their welfare, but also for that of their calf. And that recent studies have shown it is profitable to cool your dry cows because of these multi-generational losses that can occur. So you can use similar techniques as you would for lactating cows, the combination of soaking and high-speed air. Thank you for being with me today and sharing this valuable information about your fact sheet.